The eighth step in an engineering project is called product testing. Now don't get this confused with the science project where you have to do run series and 30 and 40 tests. On this one, you want to test it enough times just to see if, if you're meeting your engineering goal. So for example, on the magnetohydro dynamic, he tested it, he tested his pump first by putting it in the water, hooking up the battery, he ran it for 45 seconds, and the, then the water moved through the pump, and then and the water turned orange. So he's talking about for each design what happened on the testing. Uh, this was not something that he could chart, it was something he had to do in words. For um, for this project, the trebuchet project, when they created, they created a couple of different trebuchets to go, or three different designs, to try to hit them into a certain target area. And so they were actually able to chart and graph their testing of those different trebuchets to see if they were meeting their engineering goal. But the, the charting, the graphing, is not the main part of an engineering project that you just want to test it, design the design to make sure you met your goals. And so a couple of tests are sufficient.